Answer these eight questions as quickly as possible to see if we share the same mind. Name a food. Pizza. Name a color. Red. Name a country. China. Name a fruit. Banana. Name a vegetable. Carrot. Name a number one through ten. Seven. Name a drink. Water. And then lastly, pick a random word. Random. Okay, let me know if there's any overlap. Let's see how rich you are. So if you say yes to more than half of these things, then you're definitely upper class. These can apply to you either now or at some point in your life. You have a water dispenser on your fridge. Ugh, I wish. Those are so clutch. Now it's just like bottled water and Brita. That's true luxury. You have a maid? Yeah, myself. I've never had a maid. But my thing is, they don't do deep cleanings, right? Just like surface level. You get an allowance? No way. I don't think I'd ever actually incentivize my kids with allowances. Like, cool, you did the dishes, I pay the rent, we're not the same. Did your parents buy you a car? No, but I did get a hand-me-down, which was nice. Some kids get insane cars, though. Do you vacation every year? Well, now, yeah. I think a nice local vacation is even worth the spend. Did your parents pay you for good grades? Wait, is that actually a thing? You get paid for getting A's? And lastly, do you have a pool table? No, but I've never actually seen a poor person with a pool table, so that's true. There's a good chance that you're a walking red flag, so if any of these apply to you, then you'll know why nobody likes you, so here we go. Snap score over 500,000. I don't get how that's possible. My snap score is like 5,000, I think. I've seen some people with almost a million, and streaks that are like over a year long. Don't like animals or babies. I've never understood this one, because I think the way you treat those two groups tells a lot about you. Don't tip. I mean, in this economy, you can't really blame people, but realistically, you have to tip something. Have a messy room. Yeah, what do they say? Messy room, messy life. Gotta make your bed in the morning. You yell at your mom. This might be the worst, especially if you're a guy, because that's probably a pretty bad precursor. And then lastly, if your name starts with a J. Sorry, Jays. Disney characters, you guys know the deal, so here we go. And it's gonna get progressively weirder, so buckle up. Yeah. 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 Looks like my girlfriend. Yeah. 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 According to science, if you have any of these five facial features, then you're considered to be attractive. A symmetrical face. I know I don't have that, because I record myself every day. If you want to check, you just have to horizontally flip your camera and then see if you look the same. A confident smile. I think it's not so much about having perfect teeth, it's about being like comfortable showcasing your happiness. I think that's where the draw is. Facial hair. Yeah, I kind of agree with this, unless you have like a godsend jawline in which you should probably leave it clean shaven. Bigger eyes. I have heavy eyelids, so my eyes are usually like a bit more droopy, so I think I fail for this one. But I guess that's why they draw like anime girls with those buggy eyes. And then lastly, familiarity or averageness. I guess you want someone who's like not too intimidating, but this is pretty dumb. You're all attractive, assuming you're of age. Here's a test to see if you're weird. So we're going to look at six different questions, and if you say yes to most of them, then you're probably a bit weird. So here we go. Okay, let's slow it down here. Do people really still think this? I think if you don't watch anime, you're weird. How about that? Are you attracted to cartoon characters? I don't think anybody actually is. It's just like a meme, right? But correct me if I'm wrong. You talk to random people in public? This isn't necessarily weird, but in certain contexts, I could see it getting weird. But no, I don't typically do that. You breathe through your mouth. I'm high key a mouth breather. I actually have to edit the vocals on all of my videos to avoid my breath being heard. It's pretty bad. You use Reddit? Yeah. Like for some subreddits, I guess, once in a while. Reddit is kind of weird. And finally, do you use the bathroom naked? What is the appeal of this? Unless it's like a before a shower or something. I'd love for somebody to enlighten me, please. These are the most controversial questions on the internet. So let's take a look. What do you pour first when making cereal? Cereal, I'm not a psychopath. Okay, good. How do you eat chocolate bars? I just take a bite most of the time because I eat the whole thing in one sitting, so it doesn't really matter. Interesting. How do you mark the last red page? I don't read to be honest, so I never really run into this dilemma. Maybe bookmark? Okay. How do you cut a sandwich? I don't usually cut my sandwiches, but if I did, I'd say rectangle. People who do triangles can't be trusted. 
Wow, okay, the truth comes out. Do you dip or drizzle your fries in sauce? Dip. You need to control the sauce for each individual bite. It's optimal. Nice. Shampoo or conditioner first? Is this really a debate? It's definitely shampoo first. Wow, that 2% needs to be imprisoned. Men or women? Let's see. Woman. Guys have no fashion sense. Making a mess, woman. You'd think it's men, but the answer is woman. Just take a look at their bathrooms. Woman. Men are actually horrible at this. Gotta step it up. Woman. They have the natural advantage, though. Uh, men. 100%. Men. Instinctual and strength advantage, though. CPR, woman. I don't know the stats, but I feel like most medical professionals are women. Romantic. Uh, men. But they're either really romantic or not at all, so the deviations are pretty large. Woman. I would never leave my kids with a random dude. Men. I feel like men just bond easier. And finally... Okay. That's enough. Too early for this. Let's see how many of you guys are rude. So if you say yes to more than half of these questions, then people secretly may not like you. So here we go. Are you always late? Not always, but people like this are actually the worst. They're essentially stealing your time. Especially when they text you like, oh, I'm almost there, and they haven't even left their house yet. Do you yawn when people are talking to you? Sometimes, but it's more so because I'm tired, not bored. Well, I guess sometimes I'm bored. Do you often check your phone when with people? Depends who I'm with and what we're doing. Sometimes I use the phone to like show them a video or something. You take phone calls on public transit. No, this is actually the worst, but no, I don't like talking on the phone in front of people anyways. Have you ever cut a line? Yeah, I'm sure. If the line's over like a thousand people at like a sporting event maybe, I'm sure I've like cleverly inserted myself, so yeah, I technically cut the line. And then lastly, do you flake on people? No, I never really flake. I hate when people do that though. Let's see what you call these six things, and it's going to differ depending on where you live, but honestly it doesn't matter because there's only one right answer anyways, so here we go. I've never seen this bug in my entire life. Roly-poly sounds cool, so I'll go with that. I don't think they exist on the east coast. This is highways. Freeways I think they use on the west coast, then motorway sounds like some Germany shit. That's a hair tie. Ponytail? Ponytail is like the hairstyle that you use with the hair tie, and then hair bands just pretty boring. This is dinner, supper's way too formal, and then tea. Okay, Brits. All three of these are different. That looks like a tomato sauce or a gravy, but marinara sauce and red sauce are two different things. So I use fireflies and lightning bugs interchangeably, it just kind of depends, and then fire beetle sounds pretty cool, maybe I'll start using that. And then finally, oh, garage sale. You do it out of your garage. So apparently everybody pronounces these words differently, so let's see if we agree on any of them. So that's poem. I know some people extend the E, they're like poem. Uh, mischievous, or no, mischievous. No, mischievous, yeah. That's asked. That's a tough word, asked. Um, envelope, not envelope. That would be an O-N. That's coupon with a Q. I know it's phonetically wrong, but coupon is just weird to say. That's Nevada, not Nevada, but I'm East Coast. Uh, Celtic, like the Boston Celtics. Some people say Celtic, I think. New Orleans, not New Orleans. That's pretty amateur. That's Creek. Don't know what else people would say. And then finally, Worcestershire sauce. Just sound it out. We're about to look at 10 images that should trigger nostalgia if you're a millennial or Gen Zer. So let's take a look. Wow, this screams family computer in like 2004. These actually slap. Do they still make these? This was like the caviar of school lunches. Eye beer. Yeah, I saw this on Twitter recently. This used to be peak technology. I still use CRTs. I own two because I play Smash Bros. Melee, so the older games need to run on these. Wow, this is like a faint memory. I don't know what this show was called. This too. I think this was a book though. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, this rug. Pretty sure every school had it. So I wasn't a Call of Duty kid, but I remember this map. I think it's called like Airport, right? Whoa, yeah, the fortune teller game. And then finally, yeah, this was the guy that was in all the textbooks. Would you work these fictional jobs? No. Doesn't Mr. Krabs not even pay his employees? I'd rather work at the chum bucket. No way, that's way too traumatizing. In theory, yeah, but probably not. That's like some Mike Vick shit. No, 
I've heard some crazy theories about the Oompa Loompas. Yeah, this could be interesting. I like the simplicity of it. We'd probably get boring pretty quickly, though. Yeah, oh yeah, if I was younger, I definitely would. Movie theater sounds dope. No. Can't scare kids on the regular. You'd have to be a psychopath to do this. No. Wouldn't subject myself to that. Definitely not. That's certain death. I'd love to be a teacher, but not at Hogwarts. And finally, I've never watched Wally, -E, but probably not. I'm going to show you two foods, and we have to decide which is better. Ooh, good question. Usually bone in, but if we're at like Buffalo Wild Wings or something, then I go boneless. Kind of indifferent to either. I don't know, maybe like a waffle with some like vanilla ice cream on the side. That's a great question, but the answer is corner. You need some crust on it. Not a big soda guy, but I think I like Coke better. Diet Coke. Oh my gosh, flour 100% of the time. I don't know if anybody likes corn better. Blue cheese, for dipping at least. Drumstick, much easier to hold. Uh, tacos. You don't need all the, like, the rice and beans. It's a waste of calories, to be honest. And finally, oh, crunchy. I like it extra crunchy, even. Would you let them babysit your kids? Well, let's see. No. No shot. Um, yeah. Need that discipline instilled. Yeah, I feel like I can trust them. They were pretty good with that girl, Boo. I forgot her vibe. I think she was, like, really attentive, right? So, yeah. Spencer. Uh, yeah, he's fun. I think the kids would enjoy it. Oh my gosh, Nurse Joy. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. She was my first crush. No idea who that is. No idea who that is. I feel like I'm going to get roasted for that. Caillou? I wouldn't let Caillou near my kid. Something's off about that guy. I never liked him. Wrench? Yeah, I think so. Depends on the time of the year. And finally, no. She's boring and a brat. Are you more dominant or recessive? Well, let's find out. We're going to look at 10 different traits, so keep track of where most of yours lie. Dominant? I don't have this, so dominant, but those are cool. Obviously not showing this, but my first toe is longer, so recessive. I don't think I have these, so also recessive. How do I even check this? I think they're free though, so dominant. Don't have a cleft chin, which I guess is dominant. I think they're fairly long. Dominant again. Broad or thin? Hmm. Probably on the thinner side, I'd say. Don't have any freckles, actually. I do have beauty marks, though. I don't think they count. So recessive. A number of fingers. Since when is five fingers recessive? Let's see if you call these things by their brand names or their generic names. Chapstick. A uh, Ziploc bag. Wait, Ping Pong's a brand name? That just kind of blew my mind. Popsicles. Wow, I'm poisoned. That's Vaseline. Q-tips. Jeez, I'm a corporate hoe. Okay, No Shot Jet Ski is a brand name, really. That's a Sharpie. I do say Band-Aid. That's definitely a crock pot. Wow, this is unbelievable. Okay, finally, I do call that bleach. Wow. Yeah, and that's a tissue, finally. And that's mini golf. Jeez. Are these things cringe or not cringe? Cringe. They need to stop. Bad for the environment too, right? Possibly the most cringe thing of all time. I don't understand why people do this. Definitely cringe. This actually might be worse. The amount of people who claim to have like ADHD and OCD is insane. I'm like numb to it at this point, but it's always a bit cringe hearing yourself out loud. A little bit. I don't know if people even still play this. I don't mind Fortnite. Cringe. Literally nobody cares about your political opinions. It's like people's identities at this point. It's so weird. Oh, why are Crocs on here? I own like 10 pairs. Definitely not cringe. Cringe. No, just kidding. Well, it depends on the person. It could be. And finally, no comment. Let's see how strong your food intuition is. So take a guess as to which food these colorless images are. Salt. Same thing. Um, gotta be a banana. I think plantains are a bit wider. Okay, whatever. That's yogurt because it's whipped. Are you kidding me? That's a lemon. All right, there we go. 
Ooh. Gotta be ketchup because it looks a bit more viscous. Of course. Definitely parsley. Nice. I've never been able to identify these. Maybe a cantaloupe. Okay, melons are melons. Uh, that should be cocoa powder. That's literally cocoa powder. That's a normal potato because sweet potatoes are a bit longer. All right, I know my spuds. And finally, ooh, probably a snickerdoodle. Okay, not too bad. We're gonna look at some foods and you have to decide whether you like it better cooked or uncooked. So here we go. Cooked. Tartar is so mid, I'm tired of acting like it's good. It's really not. Cookies, ooh, I love cookie dough so much, but nothing beats a nice warm cookie. Wait, these come from the same kernels? I'm so dumb. Okay, uh, regardless, I hate corn though, so I gotta go popcorn here. Sliced bread, alright, this is interesting. I think bread always benefits from becoming toast just to get a little crisp on it, but that's just me. Spinach cooked on some Popeye shit, even though I think he eats it raw. Eggs, eggs depends. I used to chug raw eggs in the morning for efficiency, but cooked eggs are objectively better. Uncooked, sushi's king. I don't understand the question here. Cooked, of course. And then chicken, uncooked. All right, what do you guys think? A lot of people think they have social anxiety, so let's see how many of these apply to you. You can't look people in the eyes when they talk to you. I know a lot of people who can't, probably like 20% of people. Wear headphones to avoid talking to people. I do this all the time, but it's not because I'm anxious, I just don't really like people. Do you join in on random conversations? I feel like that's kind of rude. Can I? I guess, yeah, maybe at like a party, I've done it before. Can you give presentations? I love presentations, I basically do it for a living. Would you rather live alone or with people? It just depends, I mean, I think I'm introverted and enjoy my time alone, but I enjoy living with people. You avoid public places. Kind of, like Times Square, yeah, but I don't care about like restaurants and stuff. And do you look down when walking? I do, but it's just to make sure I'm not stepping on anything. How'd you guys do? Do you prefer these foods to be hot or cold? I actually hate cold pizza. Give me some nice warm pizza out the oven every time. I'm obsessed with iced tea. It's the only thing I drink, unsweetened. Donuts depends. Some are better room temperature, some are better warm. Yeah, it just kind of depends. Ooh, cookies, I don't know. I think I prefer warm. I like them soft, so I don't know what that means. Coffee, I don't drink coffee, but if I did, I'd probably like iced coffee better, I guess cheese. If they're implying that it's melted cheese, then yes, I obviously prefer cheese to be hot. Fried chicken? Who is eating fried chicken cold? Ew. Soup? Warm, obviously. What even is this? Generally speaking, warm food is always better than cold food. And finally, Pop-Tarts. Hmm, I haven't thought about this in a while. I think cold, though. What do you guys think? A lot of you guys are probably pretty gross, so here are some questions that may or may not confirm that. Do you pick your nose? Okay, fine. I'm guilty of this. It just feels good to clear out the nose once in a while. Sue me. Do you wear deodorant? Yeah, I wear this antiperspirant roll-on. It's called, like, Necessaire, I think. I'd say one in three guys, though, doesn't wear deodorant, which is kind of nasty. Would you use somebody else's toothbrush? I mean, I've used my girlfriend's before, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Otherwise, it's pretty nasty. Do you cut your toenails? Oh, yeah. Gotta have good hygiene. Guys should get pedicures and manicures, like, once a month, I think. Do you pick out your face? I legitimately spend like one hour a night doing this in my bathroom mirror. I can't help myself. What's the longest you've gone without showering? Probably like two days. That should probably be people's max unless you're like super sick or something. And lastly, do you wear underwear two days in a row? There's no way people do this. Guys, you cannot do this. If you're watching this right now, there's a pretty good chance you're lazy. So depending on how you answer these questions, you may want to get up and do something. How often do you exercise? I exercise daily in some form. I go on walks every day, then I'll try to lift whenever I'm free. You currently have chores to do. I actually do. I need to clean my bathroom, so they got me there. Do you wake up at reasonable times? Yeah, usually like 8 or 9 a.m., so pretty reasonable. How often do you clean? I clean a little bit every day, but thorough cleanings maybe like once every two weeks. Do you cook or eat out more? Eat out, 100%. Do you lie to cancel plans? I've definitely done this before. Sometimes I'm just too lazy but not as much anymore. You dress up when you go out. Depends who I'm with and what we're doing, but typically no. And then finally, how often do you read? Literally never. How good are your estimation skills? Well, these eight questions will put them to a test. Which is the heaviest? 
Um, definitely a double decker. Cool. Which is the longest? That's got to be the container ship, right? Okay. Which of these is the rarest? Oh, red hair. I know like 1% of the population has it. Cool. Who is the most Instagram followers? Probably Lady Gaga, because I think a lot of pop stars do well on there. Justin Timberlake, really. Who was born first? This is a trick question. I think it's Queen Elizabeth, actually. Wow, it is, okay. Which city has the most tourists? This is just Paris, right? Bangkok, really. Which is the tallest? Uh, another trick one, probably the Legos. Yeah, and then finally, which of these makes the most money? It can't be Bezos. It's gotta be like the Burj Khalifa cost. Bezos, wow, how'd you guys do? Statistically speaking, most of you guys are NPCs. So if you say yes to most of these questions, then unfortunately you're not the main character. You only give one word answers. No. Do you hate your job slash school? No, I love my job. Do you always eat the same food? Not really, but think about how often humans eat. Like, it's not crazy to eat the same thing every day, especially if it's part of a routine. You usually discuss the weather in conversations. Honestly, yeah, but it affects everyone. I don't think it's like that terrible to bring up. You wear the same clothes every day? I do. All I wear is plain t-shirts. I'm on my Steve Jobs shit. You rely on others to make plans. No, I make the plans. And finally, do you only speak when spoken to? Well, I speak for a living, so I can't say that applies to me. But how'd you guys do? Let's see if you keep these foods in the fridge or not. Oh yeah. It tastes nasty if it's room temperature, so you gotta keep that cold. Tomatoes. I think tomatoes are left out, but there are situations when they're in the fridge. Some people don't refrigerate their eggs, really? Won't they go bad? Yes. It defeats the purpose if it's not in the fridge, right? I go back and forth on this one, but I think fridge. Obviously should always be in the fridge, it's dairy. Pretty indifferent to water, I don't mind chilled or room temperature. I don't know the science behind preserving lithium batteries, are they even lithium? Probably not. But regardless, we used to do this, but not anymore. And finally, people leave their lettuce out? Who's eating lukewarm salads? That's nasty. I'm gonna show you two things and we have to decide which is better. Tea. I don't drink coffee. Football. I'm American, so football is way bigger than football here. Target for the vibes, Walmart for overall utility. Marvel. But actually, their recent stuff is garbage, so DC has a real chance of taking over soon. Ooh, I love Chick-fil-A, so them overall, but I will give it to Popeyes for the chicken sandwich alone. Neither. I'm a Nintendo guy. Actually, I don't even game that much, to be honest, so never mind. Body wash. Don't be nasty with your bar soap, guys. Movies. I don't read books. Not even sure I can read anymore, to be honest. And finally, uh, I really don't like either, but I don't smoke, so I'll go alcohol. What do you see when you first look at this image? I'll give you a second. So if you didn't say any of these three answers, then you may have an abnormal mind. So here's seven other ink blots, so take a look and let me know if your answers match up with the general public's. So it's called the Rorschach test, and it's used in psychology to evaluate people's psyches and explore their minds. So depending on what you see when you look at these images, they reveal something about your inner workings. It's been used historically to diagnose things like schizophrenia and certain personality disorders, but its original purpose was to dive deep into people's minds and evaluate their different perspectives. It's actually pretty cool, so here's two more, now we're gonna get some color. And then the final one. Okay, there's the answer, so let me know how you guys did. Are these foods overrated or underrated? Ugh, I knew this would be on here. Slightly overrated because millennials ruined it by putting it on toast. Overrated. You can't even get a good chicken nugget anymore, it all just tastes so fake. Cereal is so overrated. I can't think of a single cereal that's worth eating in the morning. You might as well eat a bag of chips. Nutella is underrated. I think hazelnut in general is very underutilized in cuisine. Brussels sprouts are underrated. Most vegetables are underrated because like obviously they're really good for you so it's like a cheat code to eat them. Bacon is so overrated. I mean, it's okay when you have it but it's literally whatever. Hot dogs too. I've never actually craved a hot dog. And then finally, bubble tea. I've had it once and I hated it so I can't give a great opinion so I'll leave it undecided. Every man should be able to do these eight things so let's see if we have what it takes to be masculine. Do you know how to change a tire? No. 
Not at all. I'd call AAA or something. Do you know how to tie a tie? Yes. I worked in finance in my past life, so unfortunately I know how, but I hate suits. Can you cook a proper meal? I make a mean smoothie and eggs in the morning if that counts. I guess I can improve on that. Do you know how to shake hands? Yeah. Firm, look them in the eyes, and then with your other hand you want to touch their other arm. Can you negotiate? Yeah. Yeah, watch this. If you guys follow and subscribe, I will continue making these videos. Bam, create the illusion of demand. You know how to ask a woman on a date? Yeah, you gotta be confident, present yourself well, be courteous, pay the bill, etc. Can you start a fire? If I had a torch. And lastly, do you know how to survive a bear attack? Oh, actually, yeah. Brown lay down, black fight back. We're gonna find out if you're gullible. So here we go. So what's one plus one? That would be two. Good job. What's two plus two? That's gonna be four. What's four plus four? That, of course, is eight. So you're doing great. Hopefully you haven't missed anything yet. What's one minus one? Tough one here. That's gonna be zero. And just a few more questions now. Think of a number between one and 10. Got it? Awesome. What color is my shirt? That would be blue. What color is your shirt? That would be white. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know the color of your shirt. But now, 